Hello everyone, this is Anmol and uh, I've been getting requests for using the MongoDB with PHP. Now the MongoDB is a kind of uh, kind of database uh, which is not a conventional uh, SQL based database. Uh, it's more likely the data is stored in the JSON format. So uh, you can uh, have a look on this site if you want to know more about the mongo okay this one mongodb.org this is the site which which will uh, make you through mongodb let me know if you want to uh, have the tutorial for the mongodb so i'll do one thing i'll make them for you so first one to connect with this one you will need the package if you want to run on the ubuntu you need the package for the mongo to install first and uh, same goes with the windows format you can just do one thing search use mongodb on windows in this you will get the edition just follow these steps and uh, you'll know what to do basically for the windows one you'll need the dll file to install um, i think my internet is a bit slow today so basically you get the idea that uh, how you can install that and the complete guidance would be on this one so i'll start with I have already installed the package of MongoDB. So moving on, let me show you. First. I echo PHP info. find this the extension I have installed for the mongo file yeah this one I have already installed mongo here you can see the version SSL support and everything uh, you can easily get the guide here you can see the guide on how to install the mongo okay so you have to uh, for installing this you also have to install what was that yeah you have to change uh, in your php my admin files also and uh, the server files also so let me know if you can't able to install it so the first thing i'll gonna do is add a data the mongo here let me bring up this terminal for you and this is here you can see how this can be done in this let me show. by the way these commands you can easily get from the mongo tutorial site show dvs so these are the dbs that i currently have and you don't have to explicitly make a db here you can uh, make it through the php as well that's a bit of leniency uh, you will get in the mongo so let me make a new db through code so this is i have made a an html in the add here this is email and full name the data would be posted to add data.php this one and uh, i'll start coding here the if post uh, 
if dollar underscore post means if uh, the post is clicked only then the data is installed uh, sorry uh, entered so here I have make a new connection and the mongo class the mongo class I just showed you that I have already installed the package for the mongo so that's why I am able to use this class right away so my next step would be selecting the db db is equal to dollar connection I'll add a db name here say mongo php name of the db here and the next thing I'll do is I'll get the data uh, REC means short form the record I'll get the post data from here e email and app name full name doing this because I I could have used the post array right away but the thing in the post array is it will have this value as well I don't want to store this value so I am making a separate array and the next thing would be I would like to insert it into a table so I already have DB object here I'll make a new table no need to make it explicitly I can make it on the runway sorry runtime so db let me make a table name hmm, p record means personal record and insert rc okay save it let's see what happens here I'll make it you can see there's no database name mongo php here so let me add a data here let's at the required dot com here submit I've not added any message here so the next thing I'll do is I'll go into this one and show you these again now you can see there is the mongo php database I'll switch to mongo php database here then I'll tell him to show tables. Yeah, this one P record which I have and DB dot P record dot yeah, you can see email. We make a one more entry here. the two records you can even if you use the pretty function here you can get it in a nice array format so this is the first video of the mongodb tutorials uh, in which we'll use the how to add the data 
and uh, after this i'll make more videos explaining all the cruds here means uh, crud means creating a data reading a data we have already created data reading a data updating a data and deleting a data so uh, keep enjoying and uh, let me know if you need anything thanks for watching bye bye